What is up and welcome back and today we have the Adidas NMD V3. The one's going to be the collaboration with Xbox and it's going to be for the game Halo Infinite. I do have to say I really like this colorway. It's going to be a light kind of teal and blue color all throughout with a little bit of gray. Plus you also get an extra set of laces that match the color of the shoe if you want to swap out the dark laces. But without further ado, let's get into a close up of this shoe. I want to begin with the aesthetics of the shoe. I really like how the upper is made from a knit stretch material all throughout. I really like the design, how it's all woven, how it's going straight down like this in these vertical lines. So I do like how all that looks. And we can turn around so you get a close up what that looks like all throughout the shoe. Now I do want to mention that when you look at this shoe at first glance it does have this look that makes it makes you think it is going to be a plush feel to this shoe. But in actuality the material is very thin, okay as you can tell. So it's definitely not going to be plush for the feel of it when you're wearing it, but it does give that illusion of it, okay? And also the way the knit is made it is going to be very closely woven. So, because of those details, the shoe is not going to be the most breathable, okay? Now, what I do like about this shoe is going to be how it has these cutouts and these overlays all throughout. These extra stitching, again, overlays going all throughout, as you can tell. Plus, the reinforcement right here in the front on the toe box. This blue material is going to be kind of like a fused type plastic. And again, the aesthetics, UNSC, standard issue. And then we have right here, the Adidas branding as well. So I like all those things on this shoe. I think it gives it a real nice silhouette. And also, I want to mention that these three stripes right here for the Adidas logo in this front section, this blue area that we talked about, is going to be reflective. And we'll show you what that looks like. Now the shoe is going to have a minimalist feel to it, including the tongue. It is going to be very thin. Also, you don't get any cushioning back here on the heel. Okay, so that's something good to note, especially if you're looking, again, for a shoe that has a lot of cushioning. You are going to get a lot of it right here for the boost, for the midsole. Okay, you're going to have this boost foam. Okay. It's going to be exposed at the bottom. As you can tell. So you are going to get good cushioning in that area but not so much on the interior of the shoe up here by the collar or the ankle. Okay so I just want everybody to, to know that. And also some of the aesthetics right here you do get some of the game's AIs. You have fret right here. Okay and then on the other shoe you get Lumu right there. So that's nice to see and not just that but if you look at the laces they do have the name there as well. It says Fred right there. Hopefully the camera can capture it. And then on the other one it says Lumu. And I do dig the whole lacing system. I like how the laces are a good quality and how this right here seems very firm and the colorway, the design for it. Gives it a nice look to it. So no complaints on my end in this area. And I like that it comes with a pull tab as well. I like to see that in the shoes. And again, some aesthetics for the shoe. It has the Strongholds logo right here for the game type. Especially when you're playing the game. And then the other one, the right side one has the capture the flag. That's one of my favorite game types. 
Now moving on to the bottom of the shoe, we talked about the midsole is going to be a boost, but it also comes with a TPU cage that helps, you know, fuse these two materials together, the boost and the the upper. You have this cage that's transparent. I like how that looks. Gives it a nice aesthetic. You can see a little bit of the blue inside. And it wraps around the whole shoe to the middle section of the interior. I love how that looks. Kind of looks somewhat icy. Now we look at the bottom of the shoe. This is the traction that we're going to have. It's going to be this translucent material. This is going to be the tread pattern. Kind of diamond design, solid in the front. Then it's going to be exposed or cut inward for the majority of the shoe with this circular tread in the back. And I feel this traction is not going to be the most grippy traction. So just be aware of that. Don't use this shoe for making really sharp turns. It's going to be a very great lifestyle shoe also for walking and running. And it does a real good transition, especially like we mentioned for walking or running. So this shoe in those areas is going to be top notch, but just don't use it for sideways movements and sharp turns. And it's good to know those limitations because the material that we talked about is going to be thin and somewhat flimsy or floppy. So that's not gonna help with the containment or the lockdown of your foot. Now you're not going to be too amazed with the insert for the shoe. It's just going to be a standard foam insert. It is going to have the Halo Infinite name, but it is going to be somewhat thin. So it's just going to be a regular insert. Now I also want to talk about the shoe comes with a heel clip as well. And when you press down on the shoe, you do feel that it's a little bit more solid and harder in this area of the shoe especially if you press on the inside and with this exterior heel clip it does feel that you have good support okay and i like to see that in the shoe i don't like when this bends inward so this is going to help out especially if you have ankle problems having the ankle secure so that's going to be a plus especially in an expensive shoe now i do want to talk about sizing i felt that for this collaboration for this shoe in particular I went through the size and I did feel that it was a little bit loose. So I am going to say, if you're going for the shoe to be a little bit loose, go to the size. But if you like that nice snug feel, go half a size down. And maybe it is going to be also because the material kind of stretches. So you are going to have a little bit of leeway right there. So have that in mind. So there we go. These were the Adidas NMD V3, the crossover for Xbox and Halo Infinite. I do think this shoe design is very unique. The aesthetics, I do love the colorway and all the graphics. But for 180 USD for the price point for this shoe when it first came out, that price was real steep. But now that it's after the holidays, you can find this shoe out there for 150 USD or so. So it's pretty much going to be up to you to decide if you think this shoe is worth it. But in my opinion, I would have wished this shoe would have been a little bit more plush to it. But that's more of a personal preference. But definitely, if you are a Halo Infinite fan, this shoe is one of a kind that doesn't come out that often. That you see Adidas and Halo Infinite do a crossover. So it might be worth it to go out there and pick it up. So with all that said, thanks again for stopping by. I hope you like this close-up. And like always, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <music>